Pole dancing is a fantastic full body workout and a great way to stay fit. Check out those guns. Part of my routine involves strengthening my legs so I can fly into those straight leg inverts. But getting to a pole studio or a gym for that matter is not always practical. Game? What's a game? Oh, a game. So let me share with you a simple leg workout that I do from the comfort of my home to make sure I keep them strong. Never sleep leg day. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's make it really hard. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, just be careful on the stairs here. Your legs might be a little rubbery. I'm fine. And the best thing is, you don't even need any weights for this exercise. Hi everyone, my name is Tremaine. I have a great love for pole dancing and yoga and on this channel, I'd like to share some of that love with you. There are two big muscle groups that I train frequently, my quads and my hamstrings. Let's start with the quads. Items you will need for these exercises are a yoga mat or a comfortable place where you can sit on, um, some yoga blocks for stability and a wall you can lean against or in my case, I'm going to use my pole. So this is to make sure that you have a straight back. So the first exercise we're going to do are just simple leg lifts. What you're going to do is you're going to sit with your back against the wall or in my case against my pole and you're going to have your legs outstretched in front of you. Now, how wide they are is not the, the aim of this exercise. The aim of this exercise is to lift your legs off the ground in little pulse movements or one at a time, depending on how strong your quads are. So back against the pole, legs outstretched in a V shape in front of you. This is where your yoga blocks will come in handy. You can either put them here in front of you and use them for stability, where you can push your hands again so you can lift your legs up or you can also use the floor, whichever is more comfortable for you. The aim of the exercise is to make sure that you're lifting your legs up off the floor just ever so slightly. It's not about how high you can go, it's how stable you are lifting your leg up. So let me show you. Back against my pole, straight back, I'm gonna use my hands on the floor, okay? And I'm gonna lift it ever so lightly, one. So if you're just starting out, you're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit challenging to keep it in the air and doing it in a pulsing motion like this. So what you can do is just go one at a time. One, rest, two, rest. And when you do this, you will feel the engagement of your quad muscles here, lifting it up. Here, one, two, three, four, I can do this side. One, two, three, four. So you can do eight times on each side and do three sets each. The second exercise I'm going to show you also involves a bit of a leg lift, but this time you're going to lift your legs over the yoga blocks. So I'm going to show you how. So put the yoga blocks, depending on how strong your quads are, obviously this height is, you're super confident in your leg lifts. This is where you're getting pretty strong and this is the base level. The idea is to lift your legs over the yoga blocks to further strengthen your quads. If you've got many yoga blocks, you can create a bit of a mini obstacle course for your legs. So you can go from one, two, three. But again, if you're starting out, one is more than enough. The idea is the same position you were starting out before with the simple leg list. Make sure your back is straight against the wall, in my case, in the pole. And your yoga blocks are comfortably, I would say, around your knee to, knee to calf position. Likewise, use your hands to support uh, yourself on the ground and you're gonna lift your leg over the block, okay? And you can do this repeatedly. On each side, it counts as one repetition and you can do eight repetitions and then do it on both sides for your legs. So you're here. So you can go one, down, 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 here. So you go here, here is one, and then do that eight times over in a total of three sets. The last exercise I'm going to show you is a hamstring exercise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get into a tabletop position, which basically means you're going to be on all fours. Your hands are shoulder width apart. You're gonna rest on your wrist. Now, if your wrists are a little a, a bit weak and you're not so used to it, you can always turn your palms out just a little bit at a diagonal, and then your knees, are a hip distance apart 
okay? Now what you're gonna do is what I call a rainbow leg lift. Just like the uh, shape or the semicircle arch of a rainbow, you're going to use your legs to trace that shape out. So on your all fours, now you can choose to be um, have have your toes to further support you, or have it flat flat on the ground like this. I prefer to have my toes to have a bit more stability. So you're going to start out with one foot stretch out to the side, okay, like this. So make sure that your foot is in line with your knee, okay, and you're going to trace that rainbow arc over your foot that's on the ground, so like this. While keeping your body straight in its original position. So you go from right to left, and that's one repetition. Now the aim of this exercise, again, you don't have to kick so high as I have. The aim is really to draw that semicircle of a rainbow from left to right as one, or right to left as one repetition. So you do these again eight times, using and focusing on your hamstrings to lift that leg to create that arch. Then you can change sides. And likewise, do them eight times on each side and three sets. Give those exercises a go and drop me a line in the comment section below to let me know how you went. Then check out this video here to learn some moves and put those muscles to work. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe!